The AM1 for you too is a great drive base for both mobile and competitive robotics with easily changeable wheel and gearbox options as well as an easy to build from platform the AM1 for you too is the perfect drive base. In this video we'll be showing you how to assemble the wide configuration. Let's take a look at the parts. You may have noticed there were not any wheel or gearbox parts in that list. Those parts are handled in a separate assembly video. On-screen annotations and links in the description will take you to those assemblies. Before we can start assembling the drive base though, there's one more thing we need to do. We need to make a few cuts to some parts. These are the cuts needed to make the wide chassis. After making these cuts, edges might be sharp, so filing might be necessary. And whether you're cutting with a cold saw or a hacksaw, please, be safe. Press one FR6ZZ and one FR8ZZ hex bearing into the center holes of the inner plate. Do so with the bearing flanges on the same side as the bottom flange of the plate. This will keep the bearings in place during operation. Place the gearbox onto the inner plate. Use the plastic studs to align the housing. The bottom flange of the inner plate will face the gearbox. Secure the gearbox to the inner plate using four 1032 nylock nuts and four 1032 by three quarter inch bolts. Line up the SIM motors with the mounting holes of the gearbox. Each motor can be secured using two 5 8 inch 1032 screws. Attach the small churro standoffs using quarter 20 by 3 quarter inch thread rolling screws. A half inch wrench can be used to hold the churro while tightening the screw. Place the inner wheel assembly onto the gearbox output shaft with the aluminum hub facing towards the inner plate. Place the hex spacer onto the gearbox output shaft and into the wheel pulley. Press one FR8ZZ hex bearing into the center hole of the outer plate. The bearing flange will be on the same side as the flanges of the plate. Slide an axle bolt into the correct axle holes. Add a long spacer followed by a wheel assembly and short spacer to the axle. The shorter spacer is used on the pulley side of the wheel. For the second wheel, the spacer and wheel orientation is reversed. Add a short spacer followed by the wheel assembly, and then the long spacer. Carefully line up the outer plate assembly to the inner plate assembly. Be sure to place the belts around the wheel pulleys before securing the plate. Finger tighten the axle bolts with the 3 8 inch nylock nuts to hold the assembly in place. Attach the outer plate to the churro standoffs using the quarter 20, 3 quarter inch thread rolling screws. Tighten down the axle bolts and ensure the wheel assemblies can still freely spin. One drive module is now complete. Repeat these steps to create the second module for this drivetrain. Now attach both modules to an end plate using 1032 by half inch screws. The screw heads can go through the top or bottom of the plate. After both modules are secure, attach the second end plate in the same manner. 
add the long churro tubes and the 2x3 hole brackets as stiffeners for the chassis. Feel free to move these to accommodate your robot's design. Congratulations on a successful am one for you 2 build. We hope you like it. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to call us or give us an email. And for our friends in the first robotics competition, good luck.